Hi guys. So this is going to be a very quick video. Literally, there's just a bunch of layers here um, to create a quick Halloween card. This is a, it was a free, um, when you're on Cricut Design Space, there's a, a free this week section. So every so often they, they mix it up and they change things. And this was one of the free cards that came that you could, you know, download and play with and, well not download, but you know what I mean, play with. So, and it gives you everything. So the card base <clears throat> is going to turn into a five by seven. So this would be 10 inches by seven and folded at five. So it's a five by seven card this way, but like I say, it cuts that out for you as well. So I thought that was really quite clever. And then all it's going to be, and these will all layer on top of the card base, but there's this orange layer and I went with the colours that they had, um, that they designed it with, because I thought that'd be just easier for me. <laughs> um, and they are Halloween colours I would use. So you have this first layer, let me zoom in a bit more. You have this first layer that is, has got these little pieces cut out. Then you have a second layer that has some more pieces cut out of it. These ones line up. This one's got a bit more area there cut out, so the orange shows through. Then this layer will go on top of this, being the white layer. And this is where it also asks to draw some of the faces in, the trick-or-treats down here. There's where the pieces line up and they're cut out. And then this is the forming, you know, a face with hair and stuff. And then there was a black layer, and this is just um, you know, cut out pieces that then line up again and layer up. So then now you can see your skeleton there, you can see your ghost, um, your mummy, the star of the little witch. And then you have the final layer, which is the same as the card base in colour. And suddenly you have this whole little scene. So you've got your little cat there, your pumpkin, your witch, your mummy, your ghost, your um, Dracula, vampire, and your um, skeleton. And then there's some stars and some decorative pieces. And then obviously the trick or treats comes through. So I will get this all stuck together because that's literally all you're going to do is layer them up and stick them together. And then when they are actually on the card, because there's some spaces here, like there, that are open and when they layer on when you put this onto the card base it closes those holes in with the blue coming through um if that made any sense so that's all i'm going to do i'm just going to layer it up stick it together um you can always add some extra bling and stuff so maybe on the stars you could fill them in with a bit of um sparkle pen or glossy accents or something like that so that it just brings it up to another level. You could do the same on the little pumpkin because essentially there's like a little well here um, where the different layers of cardstock are. So you could fill that in so that it looks glossy if you wanted to. Um, that's it. So I'll get it stuck together and then I'll show you it all put together even though it will look the same as this. But I'll just, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I've stuck it all together. I just put a couple of acrylic blocks on top of it just to um, help it stick just until it dries because the last couple layers um, I actually use some wet adhesive um, mostly I use some tape but there were just so many little um, areas that I thought it would be easier if I just used some wet adhesive I should have probably just used wet adhesive on the whole thing but <laughs> you know hindsight and all that but that's it how cool is that? It's quite a heavy card. because There's lots of layers. I mean, it's quite thick as cards go. Um, but it's flat enough that it will go into an envelope very nicely. So postage shouldn't be an issue. Um, and like I say, you can always glossy some of these little elements here just to make it, you know, bring it up to another level. But isn't that cute? So if you're on the Cricut Design Space, have a look at their free this week um, cuts and things. And um, yeah, 
try them out because they are quite easy you know they're very easy to to do they're really easy to resize to what you want um i think i actually just went with the size that this was because there are some tiny little areas so if you'll see like that's fairly small his nose there and on the cat is quite tiny so i don't know that you could make this smaller than this um but you could try so there you go I think this is probably going to be the first, I'm making this in the summer so I'm thinking ahead for once, but this is probably going to be the first of my Halloween series this year. Um, I'm loving my cricket at the moment so there we go. Happy Halloween, I guess. That's weird to say in the middle of summer but uh, you know. <laughs> Happy Halloween guys, stay safe. Um, not sure where we would be at that point, um, but at the moment, yeah, stay safe. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.